In this lesson, we're going to talk about three by three intervallic shapes. Now, three by three intervallic shapes are string skipping ideas that give you a wide interval sound for improvising. Here's an example of a three by three intervallic shape. Now, the reason that I call them three by three is I have three sets of three notes. So, skip a string, three notes, skip a string, three notes. So I have three notes on this string, three notes on this string, three notes on this string. Now these shapes are very useful for wide interval sounds. these shapes starting on the fifth string, starting on the sixth string. So let's go through some of my favorites that I use. A great place to start is to start in C major and go through all the modes of the major scale using these intervallic shapes. So the way that I make them is I think three note per string scales in my head and I just take three notes um, that sound good to my ear on each of these strings and then move them up through the different modes. So for example on C major I choose C, D, and E. Then on the G string I choose B, C, and D. Then on the E string I choose G, A, and B. Now when I go through the modes I go to D. What I did to choose these is I just looked at the scale and I chose notes that sound good to me that kind of fit into kind of a box with my, with my hands. Now up to E, go to F, to G, A, This is one that I use for a major chord. We'll do these all in C. Now if you take this to the sixth string root, it looks like this. Now let's talk about Dorian minor. string set. Now it has the Dorian sound because we have the 6 or the 13 in the line. Dominant 7. We want a minor sound that's more of an aeolian sound. We have to change that six to a flat six. Or now if we want a minor seven flat five sound. Let's 
try minor major 7. How about a major 7 sharp 5? Let's look at dominant 7 altered. And how about diminished? Dominant 7, 13, flat 9. You can make a 3x3 three three intervallic shape from any chord type and any scale. All you have to do is think three notes on a string, skip a string, three notes on a string, skip a string, three notes on a string. That's all you have to do. And then you have to use your ear and your creativity to find the three notes that you like the sound of. One exercise that I like to do to get these under my fingers and so that I can hear them, so that I can eventually improvise with them, is to learn how to play them back to back one after another on the same route. Then I will try to improvise over a mode and use these in my improvisation. So for example, this will be C Dorian. on patterns with these. For example, a four note pattern on C Dorian. There's my shape, and I'll do a descending four note pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because you're skipping strings, you get those wide intervals. You'll want to work on the patterns on the different string sets. You can get across the guitar neck with wide intervals when you switch strings very quickly within a line. So. Switch position when you're improvising. Then I work on improvising with these, just listening to the sound and moving around um, using my ears.
Once you get fluent with all the different chord types, start to work them through tunes, 2-5-1 progressions, and vamps. Once you can do this, I think you'll find that your wide interval playing is greatly enhanced.